Well, if you've been near the Candace River at some point in the past year, you may have noticed more sandbars than usual. 27 News reporter Gabriel Johnson is live in West Topeka, where he explains what's causing these low water levels and potentially for how long. Yeah, for the past year, we've experienced a significant drought for most of the year, and the Kansas River, as well as other local bodies of water, are feeling its effects. Tuttle Creek Lake, Perry Lake, and much of the Kansas River are seeing low water levels. All water users can, can keep with all their needs. We have still have 70 to 90 percent of our normal pools in the, in the lakes right now, and there's lots of water supply. When droughts occur, the United States Army Corps of Engineers has a water release process to keep enough water flowing through, so local governments can pull enough water in for everyone to use. 600 cubic feet per second is the baseline for the amount of water that needs to flow through Topeka's part of the Kansas River in the winter. We actually increase our releases to keep the water, uh, like a steady water minimum flow, going in the Kansas River. Currently, Tuttle Creek is down seven feet and Lake Perry is down two feet below its normal water elevation. But the Corps of Engineers continually releases enough water to keep levels consistent. We are addressing drought concerns by following our established protocol in the water control manuals, which allows us to reduce releases those minimum flows when things are dry. The drought has its effects all year, but it's most significant in the winter. Toomley wants to ensure people that nothing changes when it comes to your drinking water. The Kansas River Lakes maintained a pretty steady pool throughout the spring and the summer, but Tuttle Creek and Perry have begun to drop this late summer and into the fall. Now, the Kansas River has experienced droughts like this before, and Twombly tells me you can expect to see higher water levels here as early as next spring. Working for you live in West Topeka, Gabriel Johnson, 27 News.